Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for November 30th, 2022 from John chapter 18, The Arrest. Previously, we heard about Judas Iscariot betraying Jesus. It was dark, so Jesus told the soldiers that he was the one they were looking for. So let the other disciples go free. So let's continue with this narrative and with the arrest. From John chapter 18, verse 12. So the band of soldiers and their captain and the officers of the Jews arrested Jesus and bound him. What's interesting is where would they take Jesus? Not to the Romans. Remember, these were Jewish guards, so they were under the Jewish authorities. Verse 13. First, they led him to Annas, for he was the father-in-law of Caiaphas, who was high priest that year. It was Caiaphas who had advised the Jews that it would be expedient that one man should die for the people. Wow. Even for someone who was raised in Chicago and saw a lot of favors done for certain family members, this one really even surprises me. And Annas was father-in-law of Caiaphas, and Caiaphas was the high priest that year. And they didn't bring Jesus at first to Caiaphas to be judged. No, but they brought Jesus to Annas. It's almost sort of like a pre-trial. But this pre-trial to the judge's father-in-law? It is also interesting that Caiaphas was the one that prophesied that one person should die for the people. That this prophecy would come true. It's interesting that God can even use enemies, so to speak, to accomplish his will, including Caiaphas and, if you remember, Judas Iscariot. But let's continue on with verse 15. Simon Peter followed Jesus, and so did another disciple. Since that disciple was known to the high priest, he entered with Jesus into the courtyard of the high priest. But Peter stood outside at the door. So the other disciple who was known to the high priest went out and spoke to the servant girl who kept watch at the door and brought Peter in. So it seems like there was a little bit of fear within Simon Peter. The other disciple, more than likely the gospel writer John, brought Peter in. Verse 17, the servant girl at the door said to Peter, you also are not one of his, this man's disciples, are you? He said, I am not. You may remember that Jesus told Peter that he would deny Jesus. Well, here's the first time. Verse 18. Now the servants and officers had made a charcoal fire because it was cold, and they were standing and warming themselves. Peter also was with them, standing and warming himself. The high priest then questioned Jesus about his disciples and his teaching. So now Jesus is before Annas, the high priest. Now, if you're thinking, wasn't Caiaphas the high priest? You're right. So why does the gospel writer give the title of high priest to Annas? I know it can be a bit confusing, even for someone who is raised in Chicago, but apparently Annas had such a high position, even though he wasn't high priest that year, he still got the title high priest. Family connections. Verse 20, Jesus answered him, I have spoken openly to the world. I have always taught in synagogues and in the temple where all Jews come together I have said nothing in secret. Why do you ask me? Ask those who have heard me what I said to them. They know what I said. I will admit, this is somewhat of an interesting statement of Jesus. It almost seems like a little bit of a ploy. And it seems like Jesus is almost calling for witnesses. And some would even speculate that maybe Jesus is calling the bluff of the high priest. But by our standards, Someone should not be arrested without good, solid evidence. Even though this might be just the pre-trial, but things were a lot different back then than they are today. So join me again tomorrow as we continue with this narrative. 
God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.